So it's time to talk about the y-intercept form, okay? But first, let's revisit this equation here. 2x plus 3y equals 12. It's in standard form of ax plus by equals c. a is 2, b is 3, c is our 12. And I'll go ahead and recopy down this graph here and make sure you have your um, ordered pair 0, 4, and 6, 0. And take a look at the previous video if you don't recall um, about those ordered pairs and how we got this graph here. Now, let's talk about... Um, the y-intercept form, and let's talk about what that word intercept means, okay? Intercept, what intercept means where does it cross, okay? So the x-intercept is where the line here crosses the x-axis. It crosses it at 6, okay? And you can see that from the ordered pair when y is 0, y is 6, so the x-intercept is 6. So when x is 0, that's my y-intercept. So my y-intercept is 4, because if x is 0 here, x, 0, then y is 4. That is my y-intercept. So let, that brings me to y-intercept form of a line. The standard form for y-intercept form is y equal, equals mx plus b, where m is our slope, okay? And b is our y-intercept, Okay? So with just this one equation here, you know a lot. So what does that mean, coach? That means put this equation here, 2x plus 3y equals 12 into this form. That means I need the y on the side of the equal sign by itself, and I need the rest of it to be on the other side. So let's go ahead and put this 2x on this side. How do I do that? Subtract 2x from both sides. And that's going to give me 3y equals 12 minus the 2x. Well, it almost looks right. I just now have to get, well, let's just put the, since this is the form mx plus b, let's put the mx, this x part in front. Negative 2x plus 12. Okay, 3y equals negative 2x plus 12. All I did here was change this equation here to make it look more like this one. Okay, I'm trying to get this to look like y equals mx plus b. So y equals 12 minus 2x. All I did was move the 2x in front to make it look like mx plus b. Okay, we're almost done because I just need to get rid of this 3 that's attached to it, right? So if we divide both sides by 3, we now have something that is in standard form. And this is negative 2 thirds x plus 12 over 3. I just separated the 3 so I, it looks better. And now this gives me my final equation of y equals 2 thirds, negative two-thirds x plus four. This tells me a lot about this line here. Negative two-thirds x means that my slope m is negative. It's going down, and it is negative. And it's telling me that my rise is two. It goes up two, and my run is three. It goes over three. So each time it rises to, goes up two, and goes over three, up two, over three, up two, over three, rise, run, rise, run. And it's running in a negative slope. It also tells me that my y-intercept is four, because isn't that what b is? y equals mx plus b. My y-intercept is 4, and it is. So the slope-intercept form of a line tells you a lot about that graph and that line. And let's talk about really quickly how we get the slope. It's so easy. Slope, if you had to figure it out on your own, is equal to the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Or you can say the rise over the run, 
okay? And that simply means you're gonna use those ordered pairs. And we have two ordered pairs here. We have zero comma four and we have six comma zero. So I'm gonna take, these are my Y's. I always circle when I have to do this, I circle my Y's. And that's cause I know I'm gonna put them first. So I'm gonna say Y two, four minus zero all over the X's and I use four here. So I'm gonna use the zero minus six. That's gonna give me four over negative six, which equals negative two thirds. When I see a negative, I know that my slope is negative. It's going downhill, okay? Now, if I had to write the equation, I would simply put two thirds right here and X, negative two thirds X. I would go ahead and look at my graph and see four here and I would put four, four B and I'd be done. It's the same thing I have here. Quick review.